Amelia Earhart, a pioneering female pilot, disappeared over the Pacific Ocean in 1937, leaving behind a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Despite her impressive aviation achievements and her ambitious goal of becoming the first woman to circumnavigate the globe, Earhart's journey ended in tragedy. On March 17, 1937, Earhart embarked on her journey from Oakland, California, aboard a Lockheed Electra 10E plane. The departure was met with great excitement and anticipation, as Earhart had already set numerous records in the field of aviation. However, her attempt to make history came to a devastating end. Initially, Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, encountered challenges that required their plane to be rebuilt. Nevertheless, they managed to resume their journey on May 20th, 1937, and appeared to be making progress. They flew from California to Florida, making stops in South America, Africa, and Asia along the way. However, something went awry just over a month into their journey. On July 2nd, 1937, Earhart and Noonan departed from Ley in New Guinea, intending to refuel at the isolated Howland Island in the Pacific. Tragically, they never reached their destination. Instead, they and their aircraft vanished without a trace. The prevailing theory, supported by an official report, suggests that they ran out of fuel, crashed into the ocean, and perished. Despite this explanation, numerous alternative theories have emerged over the years. Some propose that Earhart and Noonan survived as castaways on a remote island, while others speculate that they were captured by the Japanese. There is even a theory suggesting that they were undercover spies who managed to return to the United States and live out their lives under assumed identities. The disappearance and death of Amelia Earhart continue to captivate and baffle people as the truth behind her fate remains elusive. Decades later, we are still left wondering about the circumstances surrounding her final flight and the ultimate fate of this remarkable aviator. How Amelia Earhart Became a Celebrated Pilot About 40 years before she disappeared somewhere over the Pacific Ocean, Amelia Mary Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, in Atchison, Kansas. Though she was drawn to adventurous hobbies like hunting, sledding and climbing trees, Earhart was not, according to PBS, always fascinated by airplanes. It was a thing of rusty wire and wood and looked not at all interesting, Earhart recalled of the first plane she saw at the Iowa State Fair in 1908. However, her perspective changed 12 years later. Subsequently, in 1920, Earhart attended an aviation exhibition in Long Beach and had the opportunity to fly with a pilot. Once I had ascended a few hundred feet, she reminisced, I knew that I had to pursue flying. And pursue it, she did. Earhart commenced taking flying lessons and, within six months, utilized her savings from various odd jobs to purchase her own airplane in 1921. She proudly christened the yellow, second-hand Kinner Airster as the Canary. Earhart then proceeded to break numerous records. As per NASA, she became the first woman to fly solo across North America and back in 1928, achieved a world altitude record in 1931 by soaring to 18,415 feet and became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. Following her landing in a field in Ireland on May 21, 1932, a farmer inquired if she had flown a considerable distance. Earhart famously replied, From America, and she possessed a day-old newspaper as evidence of her remarkable feat. Her accomplishments garnered her admiration, lucrative endorsements, and even an invitation to the White House. However, the renowned aviator aspired for something greater. In 1937, Earhart embarked on a journey to circumnavigate the globe. Unfortunately, the expedition did not solidify Earhart's legacy as an aviator as she may have envisioned. 
Instead, it positioned her as the central figure in one of the most perplexing mysteries of the 20th century. What transpired to Amelia Earhart after her disappearance, and how did she meet her demise? Even after nearly a century, these captivating inquiries remain unanswered. The fateful journey that ended with Amelia Earhart's death. Despite the grandeur surrounding it, the journey that ultimately led to Amelia Earhart's demise had a tumultuous beginning. As per NASA, her original plan was to fly from east to west. On March 17, 1937, she departed from Oakland, California to Honolulu, Hawaii. The flight was intended to include three additional crew members, navigator Fred Noonan, Captain Harry Manning, and stunt pilot Paul Mance. However, when the crew attempted to depart from Honolulu three days later, technical difficulties arose, forcing them to immediately abort the trip. The Lockheed Electra 10E plane ground looped during takeoff, necessitating repairs before it could be used again. By the time the plane was deemed fit for flight, Manning and Mance had with 